Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video I have a Nintendo uh, Wii and this Nintendo Wii the exact model is an RVL-001 parenthesis USA okay and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take it apart how to tear it down and do your own service and cleaning and how to repaste the uh, CPU also and I'm going to show you go how to put it back together unlike other videos I've been seeing that it's important to show you guys how to you put it back again the way you take it out all right first thing first we're gonna remove a whole bunch of screws I recommend suggest you guys to do a, on a paper a diagram of which screw where it goes so you don't lose or just watch the video backward or if you can or somehow so you don't mismatch the screws Tools that you're going to be needing, uh, a cutter, working towel, and the most important one, a screwdriver and opening tool set. I use this iFixit tool set. This is, I'll leave the link in the description. This set, and uh, they give you, provide you with a screwdriver set that you're going to be using a whole bunch of these ones. And also, and it gives you all the pliers and non-static uh, opening tools that you will be using and it gives you an anti-static bracelet all right because i'm already grounded i'm not going to use the bracelet right here but we are going to be using in this sponge tool this this tool right here and we are going to be using the opening tool this tool or if you don't want to buy the whole set, instead of using this opening tool, you can use a guitar pick. Pretty much is the same thing as this one. So if you just want to buy only the screwdriver set and not the opening tools. And you will be needing a, uh, what's called a thermal paste. I recommend you guys grab the Arctic MX4. These are one of the best ones. So let's get into it and let's get it started. First thing first, we're going to start removing the top covers here. So lift it up and as it shows an indication right here, how to remove this panel, just pull it upward and the panel will come up. So that's one. Same thing here, pull up the panels, they will come up. We're going to start removing these screw, tiny screws here. These are Phillips number one, I mean Phillips uh, double zero. So grab Phillips double zero and start unscrewing these ones right here. Remember two of the screws are short and the other one is a longer screws. And you can just lift up this cover and slide it out because it goes underneath here a little bit. And you put it right beside the screws so you know you don't you actually know where they go. Now there is an star uh, Phillips screws right here. You can remove it with the same bit or just go to Phillips zero. Now these other two screws are a little bit of different. They are not Phillips. They have a little bit in an angle. So they're different. So we're going to be using, I have no idea, just kind of a Y shape. So we're going to remove these two. Once we remove those, we're gonna put it on upside down. Here we're gonna take a knife or razor blade here, and we're gonna remove the legs on the bottom in front, the tiny covers. They are hitting the screws right under these badges right there. And again, they are same Y screws, uh, screw heads. Okay. Is a hitting screws right on top of this plastic right here. So remove this leg right there. And then this is a Phillips number double zero. So go ahead and remove this black screw right there. And now you can actually pull out the front panel. There's an LED cable right there. So you, all you have to do 
is pull it out from the jack. So pull this cable out. Okay, there, it only goes in one way, so you, you cannot make a mistake. All right. Now we're going to remove this screw right here for this cover. This is the CMOS battery. So I'm leaving it right with this screw. And now let's switch back to the bit. This Y shape, Y0, let's call it. So I'll remove this one. And there's a few hidden screws right under this one here and here. Okay, again, there are one is Y and two is Phillips. All right, you see how am I doing it? I'm just putting it right beside the stickers, everything, so I know it's easier to put it back together. So we remove these ones. I doubt that there's a hidden screw in here, but let me just double check. No, no hidden screw on this leg. No heading screw on this leg, but there is a heading screw under the back legs here. So remove this back leg right there and remove this back leg right here. There are one, these are Y shaped screws that are all the way down. I cannot reach it, so I'm going to use an extension from the set. Maybe with the extension I can reach it. No. Actually, it's not reachable. This one is the Y one. I'm putting it in, but I, I put the bed in, and then I'm going to put this one on top. So it doesn't actually go all the way in. So that's where I can remove it. All right. Now what I can do to pull the screws out, I'll put a magnet here. I try to loosen up a little bit. So it will come out with a magnet. And there we go. So pretty much um, try, but try not to put this all the way in. So I keep it a little bit outside. So it gives me the range to get to it. Or you can just fill it up a little something so it doesn't suck all the way in. So it stays a little bit outside. Or just tape it like this position. You can tape it. All right, once we remove that one over there. Now we should be able to remove the top cover right here. Just lift up the top cover and it should come out. But we still got to remove the black shield. This black shield just should come out and slide out. So let's see. Mine is kind of stuck. There we go. So pull this black shielding out. And there's a game right inside here, so we might have to eject that game out later on. All right, now we're going to remove the optical drive. There's four screws holding it, one right here in the corner, there, and there. So go ahead and remove these screws. If it's not coming out, use a tiny magnet to pull it out. Now we can go ahead and lift up this drive. And pull it to one side. There's a flex cable underneath, so we can detach this cable just by pulling it to one side, just like that. And this flex cable, you in order to unlock it, you have to put your finger right underneath, or use this one underneath the brown flex brown lock here, and just lift it up 90 degrees, and then pull out the flex cable. That's your optic drive. All right, down here we have the Wi-Fi antennas right here. To remove the Wi-Fi antennas, all you have to do is to lift up these triggers to a side, and the antennas will come out. So pull this one, run the cable out, untangle it, and remove the black screw for the other Wi-Fi antenna. Lift it up. Untangle, bring it all the way to here. 
Now we're going to remove the housing for the fan and cooling system. So remove this black screw right here. And remove the black screw right on this side. And there's one tiny black screw right in hiding in here, right there. So remove this one over here in the corner. The sneaky one. Now let me see. There should not be anything holding it. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the fan first. Okay, pull up this jack for the fan. Just undisconnect the fan, remove the fan by removing two screws right beside the fan. Okay. Once you remove the fan, you can go ahead and clean up the fan with a toothbrush or something. Now you can remove this shielding right from here. Just lift it up 90 degrees, it will come out and put it to one side. There's a tiny shielding here too, you can remove this shield. Watch out, it's really sharp, you can cut yourself, be careful. All right, now we gotta remove this uh, bracket, the uh, black bracket right here, so removing one screw right there. And one is screw right on the other side. And just lift it up. It should come out pretty easy. Now, uh, remove the middle screw right here. There. And now you can just lift it up. Because this shield should come out separate, but it's kind of hooks on, hooks it out right on top, so. You have to remove it both together. All right, now we're gonna remove the front bracket by removing the screws on the black plastic right there. Uh, just remember there's a tiny, tiny bit of this knot that goes right in here. So right there. So try not to lose that. I'll leave the screws right on top of the plastic, so I know where it goes. So, we are almost there. Now we're going to remove a whole bunch of screws. Take a picture from this end, so you know all the star screws where it goes. And in right in the middle, there are two screws right in the middle. Remove these two. So let's go ahead and remove all. If you cannot bring the screws out, use a tweezer to just take them out. These side screws are uh, the longest screws. All right, once we remove most of the screws, now we can go ahead and remove the shielding on the top. And untangle the cables, push them right through. This is the shielding housing on the top. There's a thermal pad here. So it's cooling down the, let's see, it's cooling down the Wi Fi board. You can just unplug the Wi Fi board just by pulling it up. We can remove this pad or just leave it. There's nothing wrong with the pad. And down here, to remove the motherboard, you have to remove the four screws that is right on the heatsink. So let's go ahead and remove these four screws. Again, these are deep screws, so if you can get a longer screwdriver, that will be really handy. All right, now we can go ahead and lift up this board right from the bottom housing. This is the bottom shield. And this shield, it goes just like that. Okay. 
No, the CPU, everything is right on this side, so let's put this to one side. To remove the heatsink, just lift it up. There's a thermal pad right here and thermal pad right here. So this is cooling down by a thermal pad. It's not even cooling down directly. So we are going to remove these thermal pads. It's come on, it's like a thermal paste and thermal pad type. So to remove it, you can just remove it with the cutter nice and softly. Put it to one side. Grab this one, put it to one side. Now we're going to use a working towel. And we're going to use an alcohol. We're going to clean it up nicely. And clean up the heat sink. As these CPUs don't heat up too much, so you can either replace the thermal pads with a different thermal pads. I recommend you guys to grab at this thermal grizzly thermal pads, the really high end. Uh, you can put a 0.4 or 0.5 millimeters and it's really handy to have them. Or because these thermal pads are still very good or you can just leave them on top because they're not dried up or anything like that. So they are perfectly fine, just center them. Make sure they are centered and place it on. Don't put a thermal paste because thermal paste is not going to work because the height is not touching it straight on the heat sink. Right? And make sure you clean it up nicely with an air can and old toothbrush. Go ahead and clean it. Now what you want to do, you want to bring it over. Before you bring it over, grab bottom, the bottom case. All right. Uh, just remember this foam here has to go right, let's remove this one here. The foam has to go right on the power jack right here. So you can just put it right in there, in the empty space right there. And put it down nicely. Now you want to bring it over evenly and just set it right on top. Okay, now you can grab this shield, place it right over there. Now what you want to do, you want to grab the heat sink and bring it over align it right on top try not to move it too much and put the screws there for this in the heat sink always cross screw them it's always a better idea to always cross screw this heat sink any heat sink there was a shielding here this shield is supposed to go just like this Okay, perfectly right there. Now we're gonna grab this uh, Wi Fi board, we're gonna align it and we're gonna press it down right there. Next, you wanna grab the top shielding right here. Again, you don't need to remove the thermal pad, just leave it right there. Uh, but if you want to replace your thermal pad, go ahead and do it. I will suggest you for you guys to do it. This is for demonstration, but I'm not changing it. But I'll leave the link in the description for the uh, nice, good brands for them for you guys to change if you want to. So, remove these ones here, bring it over, make sure the Wi Fi cable comes from there, and push it down. Make sure it goes all the way down. Hits right on the board. Now we're going to start screwing the screws back on. Remember these two long screws? They were right here between the connectors. And one right here. And the tiny ones, they go all over the bottom shield. Except the one right here. You don't want to put it right there. Put it right where there's a tiny arrows indicated. It says there's a tiny arrows where you're not supposed to put it here. There's a tiny arrow there, arrow there. So put it where the arrows are indicated. All 
All right, now that we got this part in, we're gonna grab this back shield, put this tiny knot right there, exactly just like that, and bring it straight down and put it in place. All right, next we want to grab the, there was a something in the middle right here, the, the middle one, bridge, put the bridge right there, snap it in place, make sure this thing goes right there, put the screw for the middle right there. And then put the, each black screw on the each corner. All right, we almost done. Now we're gonna grab the back shielding by the fan, clean it up if you want to. Make sure it's nice and clean. As this video is to clean it up, so and you can put this shield first and then bring down the plastic cover on top place it right on it all right now we're gonna grab the fan let's go ahead and clean up the fan first all right once you clean up the fan put the screws right on it i clean up with an alcohol bring it over make sure the cable side has to be close to the jack and place the screws right on top now go ahead and plug in the jack just by grabbing it it only goes in one way you just push in just like that now let's put the black screws right on top one right there to the side one on this end so the longer one goes in the corner all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna run the cable for the wi-fi okay put the black screw right by the wi-fi here the cable has to go right behind this shield. We'll just pop it in. Make sure this one goes right there. Now, we need to put the DVD drive right here. So put it to one side so that way you can see it. Grab it on this position. Now, first, let's put the flex cable. Open up this jack if the jack is closed. Open up 90 degrees. Now, we're going to slide this one right underneath. Make sure it goes all the way in and hold it. And with the other finger, just close the lid. Grab this connector right here and slide it right underneath. Make sure it goes all the way in. Just by pinching it right there. And this cable has to go right underneath the head. Just the tail. Bring it in this position and just snug it back in there, just like that. Just you have to scramble, scramble it right underneath. Bring it over, align it over, and push it down. Now we're gonna put the screws for the drive. So grab it. These are the flat ones. All right. We got most of them in right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the top shield, which is this one right here. Easy to know where it goes is by this it spaces right here. So align it right on top. And push it down. Make sure it goes all the way down. 
Okay. Make sure the screw holds match nicely. All right, grab the top cover, bring it over, and just slide it all the way down. Put it in place, bring it in this position, grab the front panel, align the front panel just like that so the flex get the just matches. The contact, press it in, put the jack in there, bring it over and slide it down. Now we're gonna start screwing this stuff in. But before we do that, we gotta put this screw. This is the Y screw again, right beside the battery. This is one of the plastic screws. Now grab the screw, bring it over. I mean the battery tray. Put the battery tray. Change it back again to Phillips small bit. Put that screw in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this Y screw in the middle. So it can keep the whole thing together. Put the Phillips screw right beside it. And the one right to the other side. Now we need to put this Phillips double zero. Put that one in there. Put the leg on top. Put the covers. Now we're going to turn it back down. We're going to put the two screws on the bottom legs that we removed right here. I'm just going to fill this thing with something so it doesn't go all the way in. So I stick some kind of paper right there. And I uh, just cram all it right there. And now there we go. I can use the extension to screw it right on top. Same thing on this one. There we go. Put the two legs right on the top. Now let's go ahead and put these two screws right in front. These are the Y shape. You see, if you keep them by the organizer screws, it's much easier to put them back together. So, put that one in there. Put that one in there. Now bring it in here. And put the screws right here. Remember, this one goes here. This is a Phillips. Okay, another Phillips right here, and the other two ones are the Y one. All right, next, just put the cover for this one. You have to slide it right in here first, slide it in, and then bring it over and just push it down. And use the Phillips triple zero or double zero, putting up the last screws. I hope this video helped you guys out, and if it did, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys subscribe, again, it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. I'll try to answer them daily. And again, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you service your Nintendo Wii. Just grab this one, push them down.